Yes, the compound which among the following is having the maximum H M H bond angle. And the corresponding compounds given are water, ammonia, H2S followed by methane. In case of water, there are two lone pairs. How many lone pairs are there? Two lone pairs. In case of ammonia, there is one lone pair. In case of hydrogen sulfide, there are two lone pairs are present. In case of carbon, there is no lone pair because four out of them, four are participated in the bonding. So here maximum repulsions are there. Here also maximum repulsions are there. Moreover, here oxygen is more electronegative implies here bond angle appears to be somewhat greater. So this bond angle everybody knows that is 104 degrees. Whereas here one lone pair is there, repulsions are minimum, bond angle is maximum. So therefore this is 107. Whereas if we compare oxygen versus sulfur, sulfur is less electronegative. So therefore electron density is minimum in this case. Whereas repulsion suffers maximum repulsion since the bond angle is uh, restricted to very little. So therefore bond angle of this one will be little compared to the water. Whereas if we go for the carbon present in the methane, your regular bond angle is maintained. That theta is found to be 109 degrees 28 minutes. Theta is found to be 109 degrees 28 minutes. It is very least and out of these four, the least bond angle is maintained for the H2S.